What's up YouTube? Back at it with another video today. Today I'm going to be uh, making a banner um, out of DTF prints. So I bought this banner right here. I bought it from Amazon for like $9, this whole black banner. And I figure, you know, I got a bunch of uh, extra prints that why don't I just make my own banner instead of buying my own and just hang it up there. So I'll put it right there. So yeah, so these are some of the prints. As you can see, mostly Dragon Ball Z theme. These are some of the prints that I sell on Etsy. And I'm just, of course, add the logo, add a couple things. I don't know if I'm gonna add that one, but I got one more print. I'm gonna do this one too. That's one of my popular ones that I sell a lot. So yeah, wait for that heat press to heat up and uh, you know, get to work. I'm gonna press, it's gonna take a couple, a little bit. I've never done one of these before. So, but I think it'll come out pretty cool once I'm done. You know, with all these uh, cool graphics. And then, um, yeah, it's the hoodie. That's basically what it's gonna look like on, on there. I made that for Mid Journey, so that's not even a real, that's not even a Dragon Ball Z character. That's just like, uh, I added that, you know. It's kind of like a, um, a Wish.com Dragon Ball Z version, but it's all good because it's gonna look good. So, yeah, a lot of these artworks, like this one, I actually bought that from Etsy, that golden, the golden Super Saiyan one. And uh, this one was a picture that I did for somebody and I like it. So I got to reprint the beast part because it got messed up. So yeah, let's do it. So yeah, I'll, I'll, you know, you'll see me uh, do this for the first time. So if it comes out messed up, then, you know, it's my first time. So let's get it. At least making a banner, but I do shirts, so this is a material. So I figured, you know, if this this is a long banner. If it comes out good, you know, I might even just start selling these. So we'll see. We'll see how it works. We'll see how it comes out. I think it'll be pretty cool. Just move this closer. I think it'll come out pretty good. I don't see why not. This is everything sturdy. See, so yeah. So now we're good to go. So let's put this same as I would a t-shirt. Mm, it's letting me know it's heated up to uh, 323 degrees. And we'll put this on. Can you see good? Good. Zoom in a little bit. All right, looks good. Let me put it on. Do it the same way you would a shirt. Try to make it straight. This is probably easier though. I'm gonna put that on. I think everything is good. Now we're good to move it in. Hopefully, it's a little, it's a little tough. Actually, let's make it sure it don't move. I'm gonna make sure it's good. All right, that should be straight. I'm gonna press it without the sheet for now. See how it comes out. All right. This, this is uh, this is fun. Doing t-shirts and doing this type of stuff for me is fun. I enjoy it. All right, so that's done. Um, did I make it? Yeah, I think I, uh, I think I got it. I missed the spot. Ah, whew, those the fumes from the ink, man, that burned my eyes a little bit. Probably not even good for me. Let me just do it this way. Hmm. Oh, it's moving. Oops. Okay, make sure it's good, flat. I'm using like a hot peel that I bought um, from Amazon. So I'm trying to, these are like the sheets until I, I order a roll coming in probably next week. So I usually order my stuff from like DTF Superstore for the rolls and materials. But since I wanted something quick, Amazon was like next day. So I bought these sheets. Okay. Uh, 
Let that cool off a little bit. And then we'll just peel it. I don't know if I got this part. Uh, I'm probably missing a spot. <laughs> okay. So I wanna get the other ends because I think I missed some spot right here. This is not even that big of a deal because it's just a little like orange dot. Here, fold it up like that. There we go. Let's get, let's get organized here, man. All right, do that one. The other print is almost done too, so that's one of my favorite ones. I think. So I'll let that finish. So yeah, if you need some samples, I send samples out too. These are some samples I gotta send. Some sample packs. You know, people to try out. See if you like it. If you have your own t-shirt business and you just need the prints or just for fun, you know I got you. All right, so this is, I think it's ready to peel. It should be good to peel. Oh, clean. Look at that, that clean. So. That's the first one. Damn, that looks pretty dope. I might start even doing these. Shoot, if you if you want something like this, let me know. I might even start doing this for, for some extra. As part of the business, make banners, stuff like this for your for your gym. I don't know if normally I don't even think I need another press for this. Because I do on t-shirts just to make sure everything adheres to the material and you know it's being wear worn a lot more. So this is gonna be hanging. But I'll do it anyway, a little second press for a couple of seconds. That should be good. Damn, that's fire. That's nice. That's real nice. Let's see if you got That is pretty cool. All right, now we're gonna do the next one. The next one is gonna be this one. It's Unleash the Beast. I gotta reprint the beast part because it got messed up when I uh, was printing it. And one thing about this stuff is like when you take it out the, the printer and you go put the powder on it, I touched it <laughs> with my fingers and then it smudges the ink off if you, you know, if you touch it. So it's very like, you can't even do that. So once you put the powder on, you know, if you know the DTF process, you put the powder on, then you put it in the heat oven to heat up. So then it could get turned into this adhesive, like shiny adhesive, so it can stick to whatever garment you're placing it on without no issues. Because without that, it's just gonna be a mess. It's not gonna stick right. It's gonna, you know, it ain't gonna last. So yeah, this is pretty vibrant. This is a, it's a good one. I like these. As you can tell, I love my Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z has always been like one of my favorite uh, cartoons growing up. It really motivated me to want to like look like that, even though I'll never look like that. But hey, <laughs> you could dream, right? This folded. Just keep stay still. I probably have to do this on the other side because it's a pretty big image. And a part of it is sticking out. So I gotta move it up after this one. This heat press is pretty good. I used to use like a cheap hundred dollar heat press from Amazon when I first started doing this. And honestly it did the job. Pretty good actually. But you know it just that one, the pressure wasn't good. It wasn't the best pressure on it because with this stuff, I feel like you need really good pressure to really make sure it bonds with the garment. Otherwise, it might stick, but you know, to get that like stretchability, flexible, and flexible uh, on your t-shirt, make sure it's flexing without ripping and cracks when you wash it. You definitely want to make sure you have a good heat press. So this heat press was like five, I mean 600 bucks. 
I think it was worth it, you know. So especially if you're doing this as a business, you know, you want to have good stuff. I think the it's a good uh, good one, entry level one. Does the job. Ah oh, shit, I burnt my my shoulder. But yeah, you don't want to. Um, let me make sure it's good. Alright, yeah, you want a good good hay press that has good pressure. And I eventually want another one at the auto press. You're gonna push the button, bloop, be done. This one's done. So as you can see, right off the bat. Stronger today, you know, because every day you're gonna be stronger today. Every day is today, right? So that's why I put that one. And oh, you know what? Uh, yeah, this is good. I was gonna say I have all this room on the bottom. I don't know. I got some extra room. If I want to fill it out a little bit, I might just throw some little extra ones that I have laying around that I didn't use. So yeah, let's, uh, let's peel this one. And let's see. Mm. Clean. Clean on the inside. Clean on the outside. Damn, that came out good. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that vibrant colors. That's one thing I do like about the DTF prints. Is they come out nice and vibrant that looks good looks almost like he's coming at you right now wow what up homie boom so yeah now i got to do another press i might even get this thing i was trying before it's called t-seal so what it is is it, it's it's supposed to uh really push the the prints even further into the material and gives you more of like a supposedly it gives you more of a, a screen print feel i've tested it out i've had one i actually still have one but i ripped it up when i was doing some basketball jerseys that was a bad idea using it on that because the ink got all got on it and then it looks like the colors just got onto the paper on the material so i don't even think i can use that one no more i might try it on this though you know just to see because these I think I have it over here somewhere. I didn't throw it away, so I know I have it. Uh, the T cell, but you see what I'm saying? It got on here a little bit. But this is supposed to help it. You know, you lower the um, the temperature down to like 190, or yeah, no, 290. And then, you know, you use this as like another press. It is supposed to take away some of that glossy look and give you more of like a screen print look. It does. I think it did all right, but I don't. I don't think it was worth the hype of. It was like 50 bucks. It wasn't cheap for that. So yeah, then this is uh, the second one down. That's pretty dope. Second one down. We got more to go. Man, these are. Give my give the, the home gym a nice little little look to the home gym. Give you some uh, more motivation. Even though in this house you don't need motivation. It's a it's a lifestyle. Now, but sometimes you don't feel like doing things. Now which one should I do next? So I did that one. I think I'm gonna do this one. This one's another one. I've done this one. I'm hoping this one sticks because this is like an old print. I had lying around that I never used. So hopefully it still works. I don't even remember if this was a cold peel or hot peel. <laughs> Cause I have both. I use a little bit of, I have cold peel um, film and then I have the hot peel one, which is I like better. But I don't, I don't really notice a difference in quality. Honestly, they kind of both feel the same. From my experience. Yeah, 
this one's a long, this is a long one. That's what she said. So uh, let's do this one. Just gonna lay it down. This one's gonna definitely require another. Uh, make sure. I thought it was touching the other one. I don't want it to like without anything. So let me just put that there so it doesn't touch the other print on the side. I don't want it to burn through it. I don't know if you ever had a shirt with a, um, a print on it and you iron it by mistake. <laughs> Not a good idea. I remember I did that as a kid. I was trying to iron my shirt. I think it was damn Mark Echo shirts. And I accidentally ironed on the red part and smudged all over the shirt. The shirt was no good. And Mark Echo, who remembers that brand? <laughs> Jeez, as a kid, at least teenager years, going to the the local thrift store. <clears throat> or you know, like not the thrift stores, but like a TJ Maxx or something, one of those type of stores, and getting that kind of shirt for cheap on the low low, balling on a budget. I got two more to do, and I think this is good. Damn. I'm gonna let this one cool off a little bit because like I said, I don't remember if it was a cold peel or a hot peel. And I don't wanna mess anything up. And the next one I'll do is this one. Stronger today. And then, uh, another one. I got a couple small ones I might just throw in there. Like this one. And then, of course, you gotta throw in that logo. You know, you gotta throw in your logo on your stuff. Okay. I think we should good. Peel off. Yeah, these are coming out nice. I'm impressed. I'm impressed with the heat press. Get it? Corny joke right there. Heat press. I'm impressed. No. No. That sucks, I know. Mama. This is a sh that my son has the, I think it's a, I don't know, but I forget what his says. I don't know if it says son. I think you know it just says son. Mama, son. We do we do hats too. So if you need hats with the direct to film, I was doing um embroidery, but the embroidery machine I have, I don't know if I like it. it. It's too slow for me. I don't really like, you know, it's not really efficient. This is a lot more efficient for me. So yeah, I'll show you the next one done. So far, this thing is looking good. I might throw, I might do some more words on, um, like throw some some motivational stuff in here eventually. Not today, but I don't know. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna fill this thing up. So we do the next, Z next, Z one. Where is it? Right here. Okay, so yeah, this is uh, another one. Yeah, if you want one of these custom on your own, though you have your own type of files that you want on yours, just send it to me. I'll work out a price for you and have it shipped right to your door. ASAP. Cause I never, uh, I've never done this for any customers. So if you want to be the first one, come on down. This, this is coming out good. I don't want to ruin it. <clears throat> or if you know, if you just need the print and you already have a heat press, 
and you want to do your own little mural banner whatever to hang up in your room um, gym or to sell for yourself so you can do it all right so this the next one next section Organized here, I and mean, I hate. I, I can't stand being unorganized when I'm doing stuff. Things are in my way, blocking me from doing what I gotta do. Stuff. Okay. Damn, man, you can smell that ink. Shouldn't be breathing that in. It's freaking it is strong. Good stuff. Yeah, like once you do the prints for the first time, it does feel kind of glossy. So like it's the point of the second press is to you know kind of take away that some of that while pressing it further, a little further to help to make sure it sticks the fibers of this I don't know what this material is I don't remember I don't remember what it was when I got it whatever material it is it's not cotton something and then yeah do this one do the second part I think I got one more to do more in a couple little ones running around. I had a, I was gonna do this one, but I don't know if it was gonna blend in well, because this is like Naruto. I don't know, it was too, um, I, didn't, I, want, I wanted to uh, take the black out, you know, take that out, so that way it could use the background of that. So this is a cool anime, little themed. Banner. I don't know what happened here, but I think the ink got a little smudged. So the next one down. Stronger today. And yeah, we'll see what the final one looks like once I'm done. It gets easier the more you do them because now I can get all the other extra is out of the way. The other ones in there, but I don't think I can. Nah, it's fine. I'll do it after. Yeah, just move that over here. Maybe I just throw that there. Nah. Yeah, I'll just throw the logo somewhere. So yeah, if you do heat press with this, this is, I set it to about 320 for 20 seconds. Yeah, look at that, that thing is cooking. Can you see that thing cooking? I snuck, I snuck a little other one, a little small print in there. Things are cooking. I gotta do, I think I gotta do, do I? Did it go through? They go through. It's fine. You need to peel. Always peel from the corners. Never peel straight down. So you always want to peel. You know, grab it like that and then. Oh shit. There we go. And they come out good. And they work 
Scout Warrior. Cool. Let's do another press and then it should be good to, to check it out. second press. Do that for about five seconds or so. Oh shit. And then uh, I think I'm just gonna throw this in the middle. Like right there. That's pretty cool. Quick. What's up, beautiful? Hmm? <laughs> you should see how it looks when it's done. So yeah, I got I got a uh, block in my view right now. Oh, we're in camera? <laughs> yeah. Nah, we're not on camera. I think it came out pretty good, right? I'll show you when I'm done. I gotta do like a couple more prints, but overall, I think it came out good. That is my favorite too. That one, I don't remember. I know, it's fine, cause I could still do, I'm gonna do a couple more of those. This one's, I think, uh, I think this is, I don't remember if that was a cold peel one or a hot peel one. All right. Let's do it. Yeah, I remember even for my son, we we we, uh, we bought this type of stuff, the banner thing for like his birthday for Batman theme. I could even do his own now. <laughs> Good thinking. What gave me this idea is I was like online. I was looking for uh, something to hang on my wall. I mean, on yeah, on the wall for the here in the garage. And I was like, you know, what, what if I just use do my own? So yeah, this is uh, this is dope. You put it on the floor so you can see it better. All right, so that's what it looks like. Pretty good. Tell me what you think. You like this? You fucks with it? You have ideas for your own? Let us know. Outside like crazy. Ugh. Jeez. This is crazy. Rainy, gloomy days. It's so bright. of some weather out here it is frightful and yeah, my dear is still delightful well, since there's no place to go let it rain let it rain let it rain so I did the uh, I put the beast on there and I'm actually printing a couple more so I was like you know what I'm gonna add a couple more to this thing just get it over with now because I'm gonna hang it probably right there I don't even know if it, it, it might, yeah, it should be able to fit from, from somewhere around here to here. And then, gave me an idea. I'm gonna, make, I'm gonna do one for my son too, put it in his room, but I know he likes Marvel characters. So yeah, man, it's good stuff. You know, you learn something new every day. You get new ideas by just trying things. Being creative, you know? Making a, um, 
making a garage gym is giving me ideas to be creative. So, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna add a couple more. I actually just printed a couple more small ones. So like this one, this one, and then this one. So yeah, we're gonna add those to it. And it's cool, while I was waiting for these to print, I got a nice little delivery. Nice little package that I've been waiting for. The punching bag that I ordered finally came in. I'm hoping it's a good one. It's got good reviews, but on Amazon, so we'll see. I'll try to set that up, see where I wanna put this one. I'm gonna put this one here. Got the uh, I think it's the RDX RDX punching bag. I think it holds up to like 350 pounds. I gotta buy sand to fill it with water. I'm probably gonna put it in that corner right there, move some of that stuff out the way, and then gonna have a cardio machine. No, we're gonna burn. We're gonna burn it. Ugh. Damn it. I don't want to melt this. Ugh. I gotta get another one of those. Okay, let that dry a little bit. Sometimes some people even just use the same picture, it's the same uh, film just to do it again. If you don't have like a, a Teflon type of sheet. Got on here a little bit. Got some ink on here. I don't want to use that on a shirt then because if that's it'll, it'll stain the shirt if I have a shirt order. That's no bueno. I'll put that on that though. No bueno. I don't even know if I have room for it. I just was trying to fill up the space on this. Uh, where is that one at? Yeah, I was just trying to trying to fill it out a little bit. That should work. You know, because uh, since it's the first time I'm doing this, I figured, you know what? Why not? Why not just go all out on this damn thing. What's the worst that could happen? It's not it's not for customers for me. And then I got another one doing like uh some uh what's it? What's it? And I got another one doing like some quotes. I don't know if I'm gonna put it on there because it may or may not fit. I was just trying to fill it out. Shit. See that? I'm already fucking up. Okay. I just gotta peel this. Boom! I don't even think I want to do an X press with this because honestly, I think it looks cool when it's like a little glossy. It doesn't look bad. It looks good. It looks very vibrant. Like, watch. I'll show you. Talk about. 
So like it looks pretty good, you know, a little glossier. And then the other one, I'm just trying to fill them in, fill it out. I think it looks good, good stuff. But since I did the other ones, I'll just be consistent and just do it to these two. Everything's nice and flat. Just press down. You don't really gotta close it, just as so long as you get extra heat on there. That's good. Good, good. So once the other one's done, I'll come back. And yeah, I'm, I'm excited to have this uh, punching bag because now I'm gonna be able to. Uh, do some cardio in the garage when I want to. Like on days like this, I mean, I went to the gym earlier. I went and played basketball, but days like when it's raining, storms, hurricanes, because in Florida, you know, you gotta deal with those type of things. I'm gonna just do some cardio here. I got a jump rope and then hitting the bag so my son could hit the bag too. But if that bag is, is trash, then I'm send it right back to Amazon because I wanted to get this one because it's supposed to got good reviews and I don't want to spend like 300 bucks on a bag. You know, I don't want to hang one up here either. I just, that would be ideal to just have one hung. But I figured, you know, I, I dealt with those. They're, they're very shaky. So I thought that this one would be good. And then I could kick it and stuff and it won't be too noisy shaking the whole house. So yeah, we'll see how it is when I put it together. Rainy Saturday. All right. All right, so. I did. Uh, I did add some more, um, some more quote, uh, a couple quotes to this. So let's see how it came out. Get this out of the way. Let's see how this came out. All right. So this is uh, this is the final. I think I'm good now. So I added that one. I added the beast. I added this one. And then you know I added uh couple of quotes because you know I feel like it's always good to have some good quotes to look at you know because you should never forget why you started you know and always push for one more rep so that concludes today's video hope this was a good one hope uh, you got some value out of this and uh, yeah I look forward to uh, setting out this punching bag and start boom, beating up the 2020 starting the, the new year right on 2024 with a cut, because that's my goal, is to get a little cut. Get leaner, get, get, get shredded a little bit, you know? And uh, yeah, look good for summer. And then yeah, I'm gonna probably, uh, so next time I work out, you'll probably see this hung up. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Do you like it? I got my little helper right here. Santa always needs a little helper. All right, let me see. I got more if I need to put it in the middle too. But that's not bad. Yeah. Maybe one right there. Wait, did I just use them all? I should have cut them. No, I think I, they only came with four. Is it? We're supposed to be like down more? Well, we could fix it. It's not that hard, you just gotta take it off. Right. right here? Yeah? I would say I could use a thumbtack, but I don't, I mean, it's, it's freaking. Yes, buddy. Hmm? 
Yeah. yeah. Trying to make sure it sticks. I just use a uh, Velcro tape, double-sided Velcro. Yeah, that's for the punching bag. Where have you been all day? I was looking for you. Go ahead, punch me, beat me up. I have to set it up. So yeah, that came out pretty good. I might even do some more. I might even do one right here. I might even do one right there. I might even do one everywhere. Hmm? Yeah. Okay, stand What? Hold on. What do you mean? All right, come on, let's fight. Let's fight. Put it on. You're gonna beat me up, okay? Cause you're Batman. Where's the other one? Right here. Here. All right. Oh no, he's gonna beat me up. Oh no. Oh. Uh. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Okay, faster. 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 Go ahead, hard. Go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Go. Oh, 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 hit me in my face. Oh. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, we're out. That concludes today's video. Hope you enjoyed that. Comment, subscribe, and holla back at your boy. Peace. Yeah.